okay good morning to all of you in our last class we have been discussed in detail about operator method to find particular integral that is your yp in detail we have been discussed we discussed about rule 1 that if x equal to e to the ax then yp will be uh, this is the in general in general yp equal to 1 by fd x and if x equal to e to the ax then yp will be 1 by f a e to the ax and corresponding numerical for this rule we have been already discussed and if uh, this f a equal to 0 then what we have to do uh, that also we have been discussed and this one will be the answer in detail we have been discussed and uh, This is another question already we have been discussed in that video and rule 2 is told that if x equal to x to the power n that means a polynomial then what is the rule or what procedure we have to follow that also we have been discussed and one numerical also we have been solved this one okay the answer will be this one in this video we are going to discuss about rule 3 but before that we are going to discuss about this proof that is your 1 by d minus a x equal to e to the power a x integration of x e to the power minus a x dx uh, and this uh, result has been used here ok here it has been used that is 1 by d minus a x e to the power a x x into e to the power minus a x dx first we have to prove this uh, this result that means 1 by d minus a x equal to e to the a x integration of x e to the uh, minus a x dx then we are going to move uh, towards uh, rule 3 and corresponding numericals ok so first we have to prove this numerical this one so that sometimes it is, it is also asked in your exam so this is also important one you have to carefully watch and you have to write down in your note so 1 by d minus a x equal to e to the power a x integration of this one that we have to prove so for that let 1 by d minus a into x equal to y now we have to operate d minus a both the side of this equation so d minus a into uh, 1 by d minus a into x d minus a into y right and we know that here d is nothing but d by dx right here d is nothing but d by dx d square is nothing but d square by dx square that things already already we know very well so here d minus a d minus a got cancelled and uh, that implies x equal to here dy minus a y that implies x equal to d by dx I told that d is nothing but d by dx so d by dx of y minus a y right or we can write this this one d by dx of y minus a y equal to x so this is nothing but your first order differential equation that is in the form of dy by dx plus p y equal to q and here q and p as we know that for the first order differential equation this p and q are either constant or function of x or mixture of both constant and uh, function of x and here we can see that this x is the function of x and here this one minus a is nothing but your p ok so here p is a constant q is the function of x and as we know that the solution of the first order differential equation uh, is in the form of y into integrating factor is equal to integration of x that means this one uh, that means there is a so called q q into integrating factor into dx that we know ok so here instead of q I written x not to be confused now here we have to find out the integrating factor the integrating factor we know that 
e to the power integration of p into dx and here p for this uh, differential equation p is nothing but minus a so we have to substitute over here e to the power integration of minus a dx so minus a is constant again outside dx e to the power minus a dx so this will be e to the power minus a x so we found that the integrating factor is e to the power minus x now the solution will be how much y into y into integrating factor y into e to the power minus x equal to uh, integration of x into x into e to the power minus x into dx okay integrating factor means e to the power minus x into dx so that implies uh, that implies y equal to e to the power x this uh, in your left hand side this is your e to the power minus x taken to the right right hand side so it will be e to the power x integration of x into e to the power minus x into dx right initially we have been considered that 1 by d into x equal to y or y is nothing but this one so here instead of y we can substitute 1 by d minus a into x equal to e to the power x integration of x e to the power minus x into dx so hence proved okay so again and again i am telling to you that you have to remember this expression this is very useful for fifth rule whatever i am we are going to discuss for fifth rule it is very useful okay and sometimes i told that sometimes in your exam uh, this proof also asked that you have to prove okay so you just remember this one now we are going to go for the uh, our rules first and second rule and corresponding numericals already we have been discussed now we are going to go for the third rule okay so this is our third rule that if x equal to sin ax then what procedure or what method we have to use to find out the y p so here i am going to suggest one thing that in your note may you are written up to this much rule 2 and corresponding numerical up to this much you have been written right okay so after that after that you just write this proof whatever now we have been discussed just write this proof then you start the rule 3 rule 3 and corresponding derivation and its a numerical okay now we are going to start to discuss about the rule Three, okay. That is, if x equal to sine a x, then what will be the y p? Particular integral will be what if x equal to sine a x. So here, for this case, y p will be one by f d square sine a x is equal to one by f of minus a square sine a x. This will be the answer. But here we have to remember one thing that this denominator should not be zero but if this denominator f minus a square if we are going to be put should not be zero then this rule will, this uh, rule will be valid otherwise it will not valid and if f minus a square equal to zero then we have to consider this one that is your yp will be equal to 1 by f of d square sin ax Will be equal to x into one by f dash minus a square into sine a x. Here also we have to remember one thing that f dash minus a square not to be zero. If zero, then we have to then then y p will be how much uh, x? Here you can see one x extra is multiplied with this one and derivative of denominator. So like that, if f dash minus a square will be zero, then y p will be another x is going to be multiplied x square uh, one by double dash f dash derivative. That means f double dash minus a square into sine x. Like that, uh, here also we are going to be uh, we are going to be remember that this should not be zero. If zero, then we have to consider the next one. That means x again x is going to be multiplied and the denominator we are going to take the another derivative. Okay. Now these two things we have to be prove here. Okay. So if sine x is the 
source function that means in your uh, non homogeneous differential equation we have uh, suppose like this one and this source function is a sin ax format then yp will be this much for this not to be zero if zero then yp will be this one that we are going to prove okay so proof starts we know d of sin ax here d means we know that d by dx okay d is nothing but d by dx that means derivative of sin ax will be a cos ax d square sin this is sin mistakenly it was written only a sin this is sin 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 okay sin ax will be minus a square because cos x derivative of this one will be uh, minus a sin x so here already a is there so minus a square sin ax or this can be written as minus a square to the power 1 sin a x okay here you can see that this is in the form of d square to the power 1 sin a x so here instead of d i can put minus a square right so here this is in the form of d square to the power 1 sin a x so here if i am going to consider uh, uh, instead of d square i will be put minus a square so i will be get minus a square to the power 1 sin x right now we are going to con consider d q sin a x that means again derivative of this one sin a x derivative a cos a x already a square is there so minus a q cos a x okay now d4 sin ax d4 sin ax we can get d square d square into d square sin ax that means already d square sin ax we got again double derivative of d square sin ax we can get d4 sin ax so we can write instead of d square we can write d square sorry d4 we can write d square into d square sin ax or here d square d square d square into d square can be written as d square to the power 2 sin ax no problem so here is equal to d square here you can see we got here so d square sin ax value is how much minus a square sin ax we just put so this is minus a square sin ax and d square is there okay <clears throat> again d square of this one see minus a square is a constant taken outside again if i am going to operate d square of sin ax again i will get minus a square sin ax right so we found minus a square whole square sin ax right or we can write minus a to the power 4 a to the power 4 sin ax or we can write minus a square to the power 2 sin ax here we found d square sin ax equal to minus a square to the power 1 d4 sin ax we can found minus a square to the power 2 sin ax likewise d square to the power n will be minus a square to the minus a square to the power n sin ax okay that means here you can see that this is your here d square to the power n n is how much 2 so minus a square to the power 2 here d square to the power 1 so minus a square to the power 1 right so in general we can write d square to the power n if is going to be operate on sine here I forgot to write on sin ax then we can found minus a square to the power n sin x here you can see d square to the power 2 minus a square to the power 2 d square d square to the power 1 minus a square to the power 1 d square to the power n so it will be minus a square to the power n sin ax okay
सो देर फोर एफ ऑफ डी स्क्वायर साइन ए एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ माइनस ए स्क्वायर साइन ए एक्स नाउ बोथ दिस साइड आई हैव बीन ऑपरेटेड वन बाई एफ डी स्क्वायर वन बाय एफ डी स्क्वायर दिस मच इज इक्वल टू वन बाय एफ डी स्क्वायर दिस मच राइट सो दैट इम्प्लाइज दिस वन एफ डी स्क्वायर एफ डी स्क्वायर गॉट कैंसल साइन एक्स ए एक्स इक्वल दिस मच देर फोर वन बाय वन बाय डी स्क्वायर साइन ए एक्स इक्वल टू वन बाय एफ माइनस ए स्क्वायर साइन एक्स बट हियर वी हैव टू रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट f minus a square not to be zero. Okay, if f minus a square will be zero, then the above rule will be fail. Then we have to consider sine a x equal to imaginary part of the e to the power i a x. Because if I am going to be expand this one e to the power i a x, this is nothing but cos a x plus i sine a x. So sine a x is nothing but imaginary part of this one, or you can say imaginary part of this one. Then we are going to be go for the uh, uh, solve for when f minus a square equal to zero, right? So how it will be? That means we are going to prove this one. That means if this is equal to zero, then y p will be this much that we have to prove. Okay. So here we prove that this one. Y p equal to one by f minus a square sine sine a x. This is sine. Okay, sine a. I forgot sine a x. This one proved. Uh, we have proved, and we, now we are going to prove this one. Now here we consider one by f d square sine a x equal to imaginary part of one by f d. e to the power i a x already we have been discussed that whenever e to the power i a x or e to the power x is our will be our source function at that time it will be uh, written as 1 by f of d see here for rule 1 you can see that whenever exponential function will be the x then it will be written as like this 1 by f of d into x. That means this f of d contains all the terms, or contain d term, d square term, d q term, all terms. Okay, carefully you have to listen. That whenever the exponential function is going to be considered, this f of d is considered or contains d d square d q terms. Okay, but whenever we are going to consider the sine square x sine square x, then this f of d square that means we have to consider only d square terms d square terms so instead of d square suppose we are i am going to say that uh, we, we are going to do the numericals at that time you are going to be clarify but here i am going to give you some somewhat hints that suppose that this 1 by f d square is like this 1 by uh, uh, d square plus um, 2d plus 1 and sin ax is there so here Only at d square we have to put minus a square one by minus a square two d as such we have to write one. But if we have the same pro numerical that is d square plus two d plus one e to the power a x, then we have to substitute a for all the places wherever d is there we can put a. So this will be a square plus two a plus one. So this is the uh, small difference between whenever the x equal to e to the power x and x equal to sin x okay so hence as here sin ax is there so it has to be written as 1 by d square but whenever we are going to consider imaginary part of e to the power i ax see imaginary part of e to the power i ax is nothing but sin ax okay e to the i ax means means how much cos ax plus i sin x right so this is the image the, the imaginary part will be this much this one Okay, so imaginary part of this one. So imaginary part is nothing but sine x. But here it is what e to the power x. So if we are going to write e to the power x, for that we have to write one by f of d, not f of d square. Got it? Okay. So now this 
so here 1 by f of d square sin ax we are going to find out when this one equal to 0 that means minus f of minus a square equal to 0 so here if f of d equal to 0 for e to the power i a x what we have to do or you just recall that whenever we have this one that this situation f of a equal to 0 then 1 by f of d e to the power a x <coughs> equal to x into 1 by uh, first derivative of first derivative at x equal to a e to the power x that already we have been studied likewise here e to the power i a x remember the coefficient of x will be considered as that the so called a ok here e to the power a x and here a is substituted as a but here e to the power i a x means we have to substitute as i a that means the so called a is nothing but i a ok here there only a is there so we have to put a but here i a is there means we have to put instead of d wherever see here instead of d suppose e, e, suppose we have e to the power i a x and this for this problem d square plus 2 d plus 1 so here we have to put i a at each d that means d here i a square plus uh, 2 i a plus 1 like that ok so now as I told that if this denominator is going to be 0 then this will be x into uh, derivative 1 by derivative at that point a and e to the power ax so here e to the power i a x 1 by f of d and f of d is 0 then what you have to do it will be x into 1 by f dash i a as I told that this is the so called a the coefficient of x this is your so coefficient of x this will be f dash i a into e to the power i a x ok I have to remove this one otherwise it will confuse i a x so here because the denominator contains only this. see 1 by f of d square for sin x for e to the power x I written 1 by f of d both are f of d and f of d square both are equal for e to the power i x ok you got my point listen suppose I am going to give you one example another example that 1 by d square minus 1 sin a x so it will be written as 1 by f of d square sin a x right and the value will be how much instead of d we have to put a that means 1 by minus a square minus 1 sin ax so here we consider 1 by f of d square but if the same numerical is there but e to the power ax there so 1 by f of d this this is d square minus 1 will be written as f of d e to the power ax so for e to the power ax f of d e to the power sin ax this is f d square but here f d square and f of d both are same ok right <coughs> so here because here the same thing I have written that why you may you are going to be confused that f of d square is here why f of d because it is changed sin a x to e to the power i a x ok only for that I written f of d uh, because f of d square or 1 by f of d equal to 0 ok only for that this value this value will be equal to this much now is equal to imaginary part of this much x into 1 by f dash f dash minus a square because here for this case e to the power i x is there so only for that we return 1 1 by f of d but actually in the problem it will be in the form of d square ok in the form of d square so only for that if we are going to put i a at d square 
then it will be automatically minus a square so wherever d square is there if i will put i a then i a square is nothing but minus a square okay so f dash f dash minus a square e to the power a x that implies 1 by f d square sin a x 1 by f d square sin a x will be equal to x into 1 by f dash minus a square just try the imaginary part i just forgot uh, imaginary part of imaginary part of this one e to the i x that means cos x plus i sin x so this term is going to be multiplied with this one and this one so which one is the imaginary part this one okay so 1 by f d square sin a x will be equal to x into 1 by f dash Minus a square sine a x. So hence it is proved. But here this denominator term that means f dash minus a square not to be zero. Again, but if f dash minus a square will be zero, then one by f d square sine a x will be x square into because another x is going to be multiplied x square and derivative of this one that will be double derivative f double dash minus a square sine a x proved. Okay, and here. Again, minus f minus a square not to be zero. Okay. Similarly, if one by f d square cos x will be there, then the answer will be one by f of minus a square cos x, cos a x, provided that this denominator f minus a square not to be zero. But if this denominator will be zero, then by considering real part of e to the power i a x. we can also evaluate same same procedure we have to follow and we can evaluate 1 by f d square cos a x will be equal to x is going to be multiplied into 1 by this is f minus a square so it will be we are going to consider first derivative f dash minus a square cos a x provided that f dash minus a square not to be zero right again if f dash minus a square this one Will be zero. Then what will the answer? The yp, yp, or the so-called one by f d square cos a x will be x square. Again, x is going to be multiplied, and f dash we are going to f dash is going to be again derivative. So f double dash minus a square cos a x will be the answer. Provided that this not to be zero. If zero, then again we are going to multiply x, and we are going to consider again multi another derivative. It will be x cube into one by f triple dash minus a square cos x like that. So here we proved that if x capital x either sin x or cos x, then Particular integral will be one by f of minus a square. So that means wherever the d square term will be there, at that point, instead of d square, we have to put minus a square sine a x. Provided that this not to be zero. If zero, if zero, then we have to consider this one x into one by f dash minus a square sine a x. Similarly. For the cos x, it will be same thing. One by I, here we found uh, for cos x one by f d square cos x. This is y p y p particular integral equal to one by f minus a square cos x. And if this one will be zero, then the answer will be x is going to be multiply x into one by f dash derivative first derivative of this one. Uh, f dash minus a square cos x again if this one will be zero then we have to consider double derivative and multiply x x square into one by f double dash minus a square cos x okay now the same thing we can uh, evaluate by this way also so if x equal to sin x or cos x we can evaluate by this way also so what is that way you just focus upon this 
here you can see 1 by f of d square sin x that is nothing but imaginary part of 1 by f of d into e to the power x as I told that if e to the power ax format will be considered agar humne is format ko consider kiya matlab iska 1 by f of d likhenge not d square likhenge e to the power exponential function means f of d likhenge here exponential function hai here ex here the exponential function means f of d contain all the terms here f of d contains d square term d term dq term okay so but in general we are writing exponential term means 1 by f of d right now is equal to imaginary part of here you can see you just consider imaginary e to the power iax is there 1 by f of d what is the procedure procedure is that if exponential function is there and this 1 by f of d is going to be operated then we can write 1 by f of ia into e to the power iax okay but condition is there condition is that f of ia this denominator part f of ia not to be zero okay but if f of ia if f of ia will be zero if this will be zero then what we are going to do <coughs> if the if this will be zero then one by the so called yp equal to one by f d square sin a x equal to imaginary part of c you just forgot that imaginary part has been written you just see that it is written as like this okay you just forgot that imaginary part has been written so what is the format here 1 by f of d e to the power a x and here a the so called a is the coefficient of x is this one so if it is so then what will the answer what will the ip we have to put just i a instead of d that means 1 by f of i a into the i in, into e to the i x but if e f of i a it should not be zero but if f of i a will be zero then what we have to do if like this format is there already we have been discussed i am going to be uh, review that one you just see that if e to the power this will be valid if not f a not equal to 0 right but if f a equal to if a equal to 0 then x 1 by f dash a e to the power x okay same thing we are going to be consider here then if f of i a equal to 0 then y p equal to 1 by so called f of d square sin a x equal to imaginary part of x is going to be multiplied x into 1 by f dash here f of i a here f dash i a into e to the i x ok that means you just consider that there is not given uh, sin x it is given only this this format in this format in this format that means first i have i have been considered i a ok if f of i a is 0 then uh, as for that uh, rule number 1 uh, x is going to be multiplied and f dash i a first derivative of this one we are going to consider at for i a into e to the i x again if f dash i a will be 0 if f dash i a mistake I written if f dash i a will be uh, not equal to 0 but again if if f dash i a equal to 0 then what will the answer answer will be imaginary part of again x is going to be multiplied x square into 1 by f double dash i a into e to the power i a x ok similarly higher order we, are, we can consider now similarly for cos x we can write that 1 by f d square cos x 1 by f d square cos a x equal to real part here imaginary part of this one uh, e to the power 1, one by 
f of d e to the power i x and here real part we are going to consider real part of 1 by f of d e to the i x so real part of here i a is there i is there there means here i just told you. this is i a okay you just correct it this is i a mistake written f of i a okay f of i a so here f of i a f of i a not to be zero f of i a not to be zero okay again if f of i a after substituting i a for each d term if we are going to get zero then what we are going to do we already discussed in our rule number one that if it is so then x is going to be multiplied and we are going to consider derivative of this one and i a see here the so called a is nothing but i a corresponding x uh, coefficient is i a means here we have to consider i a clearly i have to write this is i a ok 1 by f of i a 1 by f of i a so here f dash i a cos a x and here again f dash i a f dash i a not equal to 0 again if the if f dash i a so again if f dash i a this is i a not equal to 0 if f dash i a will be 0 then what will the answer answer will be, will be the real part of again we are going to multiply another x x square 1 by f double dash i a cos a x ok now we are going to move towards the numericals based upon this theory so this is the question has been given that d square y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx plus 3y equal to sin x that means here sin ax means uh, you can consider sin ax so here a is how much a is your 1 ok a is your 1 by operator method we have to solve as right hand side is the function of x so it is a non homogeneous linear differential equation so this can be written as d square y plus 2 d y plus 3 y equal to sin x and we know that d by dx is your d and this can be written as in this format and we know that the solution of this one is nothing but yc plus yp auxiliary equation is your m square plus 2m plus 3 equal to 0 and we can get the two uh, roots that is your minus 1 plus root 2y and m2 is your minus 1 minus root 2y and the corresponding solution or the auxiliary equation will be equal to e to the power minus x see here alpha is minus 1 so e to the power alpha x means minus x into c cos beta x beta is your root 2 and your root 2 cos root 2 x plus d sin beta x means root 2 x ok so this is your complementary function we found now we are going to go for the particular integral y p we know that 1 by uh, f of d square sin x by operator method ok so here 1 by d square that means this one d square plus 2d plus 3 that we have to substitute 1 by d square plus 2d plus 3 sin x here as I told here a is 1 so as per this rule what we have to do we have to put wherever d square term is there we have to put minus a square ok so here sin x means a is your 1 that means sin 1x that means a is your 1 so instead of d square we have to put minus a square minus 1 square 2d as such we have to write plus 3 into sin x so here minus 1 square means one, minus 1 plus 3 is your plus 2 sin x 2 can be taken outside so 1 by 2 into d minus 1 d plus 1 into sin x ok here you just remember that sin ax is there means it's a coefficient a will be operate only d square so here d plus 1 is there so to convert it into the d square format what we done we multiplied d minus 1 numerator and divided d minus 1 so the denominator will be d plus 1 into d minus 1 it will be d square minus 1 and the numerator is d minus 1 
so already 1 by 2 is there 1 by 2 into sin x 1 by 2 denominator is d minus 1 divided by here you can see d square again came into the picture so sin a x a is 1 so if d square came means we have to put sin x is there means we have to put instead of d square as minus a square so minus a square minus 1 sin x so here 1 by 2 this will be minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so minus 1 by minus 2 d minus 1 into sin x so this will be minus 1 by 4 d minus 1 sin x minus 1 by 4 d means d by dx derivative first derivative so d is operated into the sin x and 1 is operated into the sin x like this so d is operated means derivative first derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x and minus sin x so this is your yp so general solution y will be equal to yc plus yp yc already we found this one eh? this i have been written over here and yp is this one so this is the general solution of the differential equation one this way we have been solved it and we can solve in this way also the yp can evaluated by this way also that means we are going to consider e to the power imaginary part of the e to the power ax okay how it is given that only here we am considering yp only only okay see d square plus 2d plus 3 y equal to sin x so yp is nothing but 1 by d square plus 2d plus 3 sin x or 1 by f of d sin x okay now f of d or we can write uh, f of d square no problem f of d square because sin x is there means we can we have to write f of d square but this can be written as yp equal to imaginary part of 1 by f of d e to the power ix okay so it will be better not to be confused that you just write f of d 1 by f of d this is written as f of d sin x okay this this whole is nothing but equal to imaginary part of 1 by f of d e to the power ix or not e to the power ix ix is what cos x plus i sin x and this is going to be multiplied with this one this one this one and this one the imaginary part is this one right very simple and here a is how much a is your one now imaginary part of 1 by d square plus 2d plus 3 because f of d is nothing but this one okay into e to the i x here a is how much here a is i sorry here a is your here a a x e to the a x means here a is your uh, see here a is one means sin a x for sin a x suppose here sin a x a is one so we written e to the power i x suppose it, instead of sin x it is written sin 3 x that means here a is what a is 3 so what we have to write e to the power 3 i x or i 3 x okay for, for instead of this one we can write e to the power i 3 x right so here for this case a is equal to 1 okay don't to be confused here a equal to 1 here a equal to y for your better understanding i have been written but not to be understand this a is for this one here and this a is here coefficient of x e to the power coefficient of x okay this one so now here we converted sin ax to e to the power ax here a is e to the power x here for e to the power x a is your i and f of d is nothing but d square plus 2d plus 3 so for this situation what we have to do we have to put instead of d a what is the value of a is your i so you just put instead of d i whole square 2 i plus 3 e to the i x suppose uh, as i told that suppose it is written as sin 3 x so what i i can write over here i can write over here as e to the power 3 i x 3 i x so here instead of d what we can put we can put 3i 3i square plus 2 into 3i plus 3 like this right
so for your better understanding i have been written uh, here here a for this one here the coefficient of x here angle sin ax a means 1 here here i a equal to i means e to the power coefficient of x is your only i okay so if i will substitute instead of d equal to i so it will be i square plus 2i plus 3 okay so i square is nothing but minus 1 2y as such it is written plus 3 e to the power ix so this will be minus 1 plus 3 it will be 2 2 taken outside 1 plus i into e to the power ix so 1 by 2 is that so here 1 plus i in the denominator so i multiplied 1 minus i and multiplied 1 minus i so this is 1 minus i 1 plus i into 1 minus i, I is a square minus b square so a square a, 1 minus i square e to the power i x so this is uh, nothing but my i square is minus 1 minus 1 minus plus 1 here 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 minus i e to the power i x can be written as cos x plus i sin x right so again 1 by 4 1 minus i cos x plus i sin x you just multiply both the term it will be 1 into cos x cos x 1 into i sin x i sin x minus i cos x minus i cos x minus i minus i sin x it will be minus i so i square minus is there i square is minus 1 here minus is there so plus sin x so we need the imaginary part okay imaginary part of this one imaginary part of this one means 1 by 4 this this 1 by 4 sin x minus cos x so if i will take minus common from here so minus 1 by 4 cos x minus sin x whatever we found this one so for me if you are going to ask to me i will suggest that if you are if you are going to adopt this procedure it will be somewhat better because you no need to be think that uh, this will be d square or sin x again blah blah again we have to consider d again we have to go and consider the integration a eh, sorry derivative here only in this method we have to consider e to the bar x and you just put instead of d and continue the procedure and we are going to get the answer another question we are going to be solved that here see here Mm, what we found that f of d is not to be 0 so the next step next step uh, we easily done and we got the answer suppose f of a after putting a a equal to i or a e to the ax is there after putting a instead of d suppose this term will be 0 then what will be the answer how we can do it uh, I have also another example like that just watch it so solve d square y by dx square plus 4y equal to sin 2x now you are going to use the operator method here uh, it can be written as like this the auxiliary equation will be m square plus 4 equal to 0 and m equal to plus or minus 2y and yc complementary function c cos 2x plus d sin 2x so here you can see that yp particular integral 1 min 1 by f of d square sin ax uh, is nothing but minus 1 by f of minus a square sin ax if we are going to consider then 1 by d square plus 4 so instead of d we have to put what minus a square so here a is how much 2 so minus 2 square 2 square is 4 so it will be minus 4 plus 4 is 0 so denominator we found 0 so this procedure not to be considered so what we have to do we consider the imaginary part of 1 by f of d e to the i x the imaginary part of this one f of d square plus 4 i equal to e to the power here a is nothing but 2 2 i x for this case if e to the power this format so here 2 y will be considered as a so as per the rule first to rule we have to put i2 instead of d if we are going to do so also we got the 0 so that means 1 by d square by in this way 1 by f of d is 0 1 by f of d square by my or minus a square also 0 so what we have to do 
we are going to do follow this one that imaginary part of for this case uh, uh, may you remember if it is so uh, then what is the answer if it is so this then this will be x into 1 by f dash a into e to the power x right so we are going to do the same so x into 1 by f dash f dash a into e to the power i uh, 2x and here a is nothing but uh, here I written here a is nothing but 2y so first we have to consider the derivative of uh, f of d okay 1 by f of d is nothing but 1 by uh, d square plus 4 okay that means f of d equal d square plus 4 f dash d is nothing but 2d only and derivative of 4 will be 0 so f of f dash d is 2d now we have to put instead of d a a is your 2i so 2 into 2i e to the power i 2x so this will be x x is going to be multiplied okay as per the rule if as we know that x is going to be multiplied and derivative of this one at x equal to a so here x is there into 1 by 2 into 2 4i this will be nothing but cos 2x plus i sin x but here we want imaginary part of this one right so here you can see that x uh, 1 by 4 by i cos 2x and here i i got cancelled so this term is going to be real so this term is be imaginary that means x into 1 by um, here this one this term x into 1 by 4i cos 2x is the imaginary but in the format if i will be go will be the if will be moved uh, to the numerator then it will be minus x i by 4 cos 2x so the yp will be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 x cos 2x okay x cos 2x so this uh, value also can be found by considering this method yp can be found by this method that 1 by fd square sin x 1 by minus a square sin x so here minus 2 square plus 4 sin 2x and this is 0 so if this is 0 yp is nothing but x into 1 by f dash minus a square sin 2x so f dash as i told that it is 1 by d square plus 4 so f dash d is nothing but 2d okay so this is 2d at x equal to so this is 2d only my 1 by f dash minus a square sin 2x but first we have to take the derivative of d square plus 4 if we are going to consider the derivative then it will be only 2d so 2d means there is no d factor right so that means it is a straight a integration see 1 by 2 is constant taken outside so 1 by 2 taken outside means it will be 1 by 2 d of sin x so 1 by d is nothing but integration single integration if d is one, d by dx first derivative so obviously 1 by d is only integration first integration single integration so here 1 by 2 is there 1 by 2 1 by d of sin 2x that means integration of sin 2x is nothing but minus 1 by 2 cos 2x and we, we can get minus 1 by 4 x cos 2x yp and the same we can get in this way that means we are considering imaginary part of this one and we consider the formula uh, for uh, e to the power x by f of d where f, f dash a equal to uh, sorry f of a equal to 0 here like this if if it is so if this is 0 then x is going to be multiplied 1 by f dash a that means f dash f dash d is 2d and instead of d we can put uh, 2y 2 into 2y e to the i 2x so the so called imaginary part will be this much ok now we are going to move for another rule that is your this one rule number 4 I think here we have to stop our discussion in our next class we are going to discuss rule number 4 that is whenever x equal to e to the power x fx what we have to do 
and uh, rule number five corresponding problems and uh, rule number five that x is any other function uh, then what we have to do and its corresponding numerical okay so thank you so much for watching this uh, watch carefully and write down the note and ready for the next class thank you